What's going on guys? My name's Victor and today I'm going to teach you the Venom face distortion effect seen in Eminem's Venom music video. Whew, that was a freaking tongue twister. So there are two ways you can do this effect and the first way is the easiest and requires the least amount of work but the second one's honestly not that much harder. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your footage of someone doing something and hop into Adobe Premiere so we can start editing that face effect. So we've got the clip in the timeline and the first thing we're going to do is duplicate the video by holding command and pressing D and dragging the clip up. So figure out where in the video you want the face to distort and then you are going to mask out the face in each of those frames frames on the duplicated layer. Be sure to click the stopwatch on mask path in order to animate the mask. And you might want to play with the mask feather to smooth out the edges of your mask. Now after you do that, you're going to want to go to the blend mode and change it to screen. The next step is to lower the opacity. I like to change the clip between 50 and 75% opacity so you can kind of see through it and it's just kind of a lighter version of the face so it already is starting to get a little bit of distortion to it. So now that you've done that, you're going to duplicate that masked layer once or twice. So now you should have two to three masked layers based on how many different distortions of faces you want popping out, how crazy you want the effect to look. And now we're gonna space them out a couple frames from each other. This is the part where you can get really creative with it and there really is no right or wrong way to do this, but I'm gonna show you the way that I like to do it. So you're going to have to animate these masked layers for the position by setting keyframes on each frame. So hit the stopwatch on the position of each of these frames and then animate the face to go around the face of the subject, make it erratic, and that's gonna make that jitter effect that you see from the music video. All right, last step, you're almost done. All you gotta do is boost the scale on some of those masked layers, and that's going to create that pulsing effect, making it look like it's jumping out of the subject's head. You can even, if you're feeling really crazy, animate the scale, make it go from 100% to 125 or 115 back down. It doesn't matter, you can make this your own, which is so great about it, and you should already be seeing this venom distortion effect. Now the second way you can do it, and this is the one that is a little more in depth because people aren't just making the faces they were making. The face that is coming out is angry. It's getting really upset and it's looking crazy. So the way that you do this is you would film your subject a second time making those crazy angry faces. Now I'm going to demonstrate right now and it's going to be a little weird. All right, so we'll just do this. All right, so that was the main clip, and now we're going to do the angry, crazy faces, so. <laughs> yeah, all right, so we got those, and now I'm gonna show you how it looks after it's edited right now. All right, and there you have it. That is how you do the Venom music video effect. I hope you liked this video. I hope you gained some knowledge from it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up, comment what you thought, and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you at this channel, and I will see you in the next one.